Google Chrome and the Chromium based web browser is deprecating JPEG XL images with community members pleading about keeping the image format as part of the web browser. Here's one particular instance. I hope this is a mistake or understanding followed by a comment repost from a Chromium developer that says, thank you everyone for your comments and feedback regarding JPEG XL. We will be removing JPEG XL code and the flag from Chromium for the following reasons. And this is part of an ongoing back and forth between maintainers, developers, and the community of trying to explain why there are plans to completely remove the experimental flag out of the Chromium based browser, which is Google Chrome and Chromium itself. But they say here, experimental flags and code should not remain indefinitely there is not enough interest from the entire ecosystem to continue experimenting with JPEG XL. That's quite an interesting one. The new image format does not bring sufficient incremental benefits over existing formats to warrant enabling it by default. Another interesting mention. By removing the flag and the code in the merge of 110, basically what they're saying, they will be removing it whenever version 110 gets released. It reduces the maintenance burden and allows us to focus on improving existing formats in Chrome. So we'll break down a few of these, especially the ones I have checkmarked, but let's really briefly talk about what JPEG XL is. It's a royalty free, currently, raster graphics file format that supports both lossy compression and lossless compression. It is designed to outperform existing raster formats and thus become their universal replacement. So this is an image format that with its compression, can actually get down files to about a third of their size, which is quite an impressive feat in compression. And you can see down here, it was actually help developed by Google. So that's important to keep in mind because I got an interesting idea of why Google may actively be pushing to get rid of JPEG XL from their browser and pushing the Chromium community into doing that themselves. So here we can see the merge request and the update that was made over here. And it says, note, JPEG XL will be removed in the 110 release. So the notes have been made in the code and this has been approved by maintainers. And you might be asking yourself why the removal of JPEG XL is such a big deal. And that's because Google Chrome and Chromium, the open source version without the telemetry are the most used web browsers throughout the world without support and push from these popular web browsers. This spells trouble for the image format ever being able to take off and get into the mainstream. So basically it's a suppression of this JPEG XL format. And as we can see, there's an outcry from the community of trying to keep it. So let's get in to some of my thoughts on why they actually want to remove this and give their focus towards other image formats that are creeping up in the mainstream right now, which are really two formats, those being the AVIF format and the WebP format which is about to receive a new revision. But before we do, make sure to smash that like button because this is an interesting article that might be the true reason Google and the Chromium developers want to get away from using the JPEG XL format. So basically some background here, a patent has been granted to Microsoft, very important here, for a free code coding method, which is quite insane. This free code coding method, we'll talk about in a moment. Microsoft obtained the patent for ANS coding after a failed attempt by Google. So very interesting, these two giants going up against each other. The inventor is willing to release the process for public use. Microsoft did not create ANS. Jaroslaw Jarek Duda, a researcher at the University of Kraku, probably pronouncing that wrong, due to Duda's, Duda Duda's own desire to never patent or otherwise protect ANS, his work was available on the Arxiv repositories several years ago, the information scientist criticized Google's attempts to register a patent on ANS. Google's application for the patent was rejected as well. And a patent has been granted to the software giant Microsoft after years of trying to obtain one from the US patent office, several variants of the coding procedure called asymmetric numerical analysis may be found in most modern codecs, such as AV1, the Z standard compression, or even RANS in JPEG XL. Hopefully this is starting to make sense. Could the real reason be, could it be the fact that Google does not like how Microsoft was able to actually gain the patent for ANS coding, which is used in many data compression formats, including JPEG XL. And is that why they want to scrub this from existence? 
especially in a browser that they run? Well, that would make more sense to me than some of the other mentions. Could this be a top-down decision made by Google trying to push JPEG XL out in order to get other quote-unquote free and open source image formats and technologies in? Anyways, it's pretty wild how giants like this can patent technology that was actually developed by someone else, as we can see here. The funny part is we all know Z standard is used as a compression format in Linux and even in other operating systems. We'll see what happens with that. But just to talk about these two points again, like I mentioned, there's not enough interest from the entire ecosystem to continue experimenting with JPEG XL. Well, after the outcry of people commenting, asking questions, and downright calling some of this not true, there seems to be quite a lot of interest. A lot of commenting on this is going on. A lot of people in the community are asking questions and trying to actually figure out why things are being deprecated. So it does seem like there's quite a lot of interest. Regardless, make sure to subscribe below for more videos like this. The next thing was the new image format does not bring sufficient incremental benefits over the existing format to warrant enabling it by default. This, I have no idea what they're talking about with about a third of file size in specific instances of compression. I would think that is sufficient enough to warrant enabling by default. Not only that, but with its lossless image quality capability, it definitely reigns over some of its predecessors like PNG and JPEG formats. And finally, one last thing is we'll notice some heavy emphasis in the project about trying to use WebP, specifically version two, as a successor for the, the WebP image format. They are currently using this in development and are trying to clearly keep working with this image format instead. We'll see if they deprecate this one in the future. Anyways, we can see some of the benefits here that they mention, which is the version two is better than the original version by about 30%, better visual degradation of at low bit rates, improved lossless compression and improved transparency compression. So will the Chromium community be favoring AVIF and the web P format over all others? We'll know soon as well as if JPEG XL gets taken out completely. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are there other reasons you can think of that they might be trying to get rid of this image format in Chromium-based browsers? Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.